Guys, we'll start this video here. Last one was a bit of a deviation off doing the beach road soys. Now we've got to soy 13.2. After soy 13.2, we're gonna go try something brand new, something different. We're gonna go for a big, big sausage. And let's see if I can take this sausage. Anyway, guys, soy 13.2, also known as soy post office. The reason why is because the post office is based halfway down. I spent many time in there myself. This is a very interesting soy. There is a lot going on on this soy. You've got lawyers, you've got massage, you've got weed, you've got bars, you've got hotels, you've got guest houses, abundance of street food. So what we'll do now is we'll walk down and we'll have a quick look at everything and then we'll go for some sausage. Let's go. This soy is probably one of the most interesting soys we've come across so far. I've just had a walk up and down. There is a lot going on on this soy. But it reminds me of the old school days. I remember the first time I came to Thailand and I got off and it was Soy 13 3 and we'll be in that one next. And I remember the street food, there was barbecue stands and there was charcoal. They give it that sort of mist atmosphere. This soy has got everything. God knows how many weed shops it's got. God knows how many bars it's got. We'll go down and have a look. First of all, on my right hand side, we've got Bodega Bar, which we filmed before. Then also up here next to it, you've now got Bodega Weed. So they've got a weed shop next door. They've been smart on this and gone, right, okay, people are gonna have weed as well. So you've got a weed shop plus the bar there. Always a great little bar that, by the way. A lot of you'll know it and it's always quite busy. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Loads of street food, which is always a good sign when there's street food on the soy. Hello. <laughs> right opposite him, we've got one-stop shop. Basically with this one, you've got, it's a pub. It's a karaoke, it's an a go-go, and it's weed shops. <laughs> How many weed shops we got on this soy is incredible. And then right behind me here, we've got a massage place, loads of massage places here. There's a law place here, KT International Law and Business. So there you go. Here, WD Pizza. Actually, it smells good. It looks quite nice, actually, to be fair. And here we've got uh, street food and the soy. And on this side, we've got the French Hotel Riviera Beach. And then behind me here, let's not forget these, because one of the good things, one of the things I like about this soy there's some funny bar names. Right, there's some really funny bar names. There you've got the London I'm not sure if that's open now. Entrance, health, massage. And then we've got the little old bar. We have done a video in there before. Little old bar. Next to it is the Australian Inn. Just over this side here. The pump station. We know that one, don't we? On my left hand side here, there's a couple of little bars. Kittens bar. Titty twister. <laughs> I like that one. And then behind you, Dan. Uh, there's a classic here, a very good bar, a veterans bar. And then there's also next to the veterans bar, there's a max residence. So there's a lot of guest houses here and hotels on this soy. It's thriving, this soy is thriving. And then you've got the street food everywhere. We've got Opal Bar, and as I say guys, veterans bar. I know you, a lot of you guys are ex-service, uh, and this seems to be one of the main ones for, for ex-servicemen. Again, you've got a pump station here. I think that's a guest house. Just here, we've got all the street food here. This is what I like, I like street food like this. Hello, mate. Very nice, very nice. Tattoo. And also this one is the Panaolo Residence. A lot of residence places down here. This one's called Malibu. It's a coffee shop and bar. And behind, again, down behind you here, you've got a gold center. So there's a gold place there. Now we do apologize, guys. And we've got Corona Bar here as well. I do apologize if I miss some things. I'm looking for things that are open. We are here, it's 1 p.m. in the afternoon at the moment. So we try to come when there's not as many people about because we don't want to put cameras in people's faces. We've got Tips House here, another residence. And then here, we've got another weed shop. There's a massage here, 200 bar for foot massage, 200 bar for Thai, oil 300. Yeah, it's a good price, good price. And then here, we've got Yuppin Sports Bar. And that's open, and there's people in there already. And then on the opposite side here, just careful Dan. I'm not sure if these are open here. No, they're not. It says bar to take over, because there's a number for that one if you want to take over it. That was originally called the VIP bar. Uh, a lot of this is still recovering, but this still seems to be quite a lot going on, actually, to be fair. And then you've got these cool Mar and Paw shops here. Anything envelopes on here. Oh, and by the way, this is called Soy Post Office, the name. And the reason it's called Soy Post Office is because there's the post office. I forgot to mention that. Soy 32 is Soy Post Office. Simple food here. Loads of food. And then, here you go, guys. I spent many a time running here in the lockdowns for you guys sending you uh, t-shirts out. Very expensive, but if you're sending anything in Thailand, it's cheap. You know, if you want to send a parcel anywhere in Thailand, it's, it's really cheap. Send it abroad and it's quite expensive. And there's also a lot of visa places down here. Mararat Visa, that's a good one, it's a, it's a known one. 
a lot of travel agents as well, so you can book trips. So a lot going on. Behind Dan, from travel agents, and then again, we've got another massage. We've got another weed shop here, pharmacy over there. So you've got pharmacy, you've got post office. There's a lot going on. Street food, salon for ladies, 7-Eleven on the soy as well. Serena, bed and breakfast hotel. Move further down a bit. And this place looks great here, by the way. It's called Chaham, and it's Thai food. It's indoors, so it's got aircon. It looks nice. I had a look in a bit ago, and it looks great. And then just to my left here is another cannabis shop. So we've got tattoo shops, post offices, 7-Elevens, and now Indian as well. God knows how many massage shops. Plenty of street food. There is a lot of Thais. I know June's sister lives on this site. It seems to be a nice place where Thais like to live because you can just walk outside and you can get what you want. Proper old school, this site. So this one, Tandoori and Dosa. So a Dosa, it does Dosa. I do like Dosa. Now, I do apologise if I've missed anything here, guys. We've got one on the left here, which is a well-known <laughs> eatery, McDonald's. <laughs> so you've even got a McDonald's on this site. Now, we at the bottom, which is on the beach road side, just to my right, this place here, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the Hop House. Well, not called the Hop House, but the same owners. You know, the Hop House is at the bottom of Soy 13 One. That's very popular. Could be wrong, but I think that's the one. The weed shop. You think this is a weed shop? Could be. Could be. And then behind Dan here, there's another very popular restaurant. Yes, it's even got a McDonald's on this side. <laughs> I do apologise if I've missed anybody off again. It is difficult. People, are, when we see a camera, people are running inside, so we don't want to catch them. They don't want to be on now we just want to show you something here before we go on to the next thing which is going to be funny so you've got to stick around for this one guys the other day we came down here and i did mention in the video that what the hell are they doing with these drains here these drains are like two and a half inches high but what they're actually doing is if you go to pataya clang now a soy seven soy eight they're actually resurfacing the road but i was told that the best way to do a road i mean I, i'm not an expert on this but somebody told me that if you lay it down on concrete which these roads have to be don't they because of the sand or anywhere it's marshy they always put concrete down but if you then leave let that settle in for a couple of years it's the best way and then tarmac it and it's always the best kind of road so to me this has always been concrete this road so but now they're going to tarmac it i think it'll look fantastic when it's done so if you see these here <laughs> raised like this just be careful Oh, mail cab, mail cab. <laughs> to be fair, they have put um, a luminous bol bol bollards, whatever you want to call them, over it. You know, so you won't miss them. Motorbikes coming down, bang. But when I've seen it at the top, it's level. They've done a good job. So they're coming all the way down. That'll make Beach Road look a lot better. Right, guys, now I've been talked into this. I'm not sure if I can do it, but I'm going to go for a big sausage. And it's a very, very big sausage. And for this big sausage, we've got to go to the Queen Victoria in Soy 6. So. Let's go to Queen Victoria and I'm going to stuff myself now as much as I can and try and win the prize. Let's go. Right, I'm here on Soy Sick. We've come to the Queen Vic because I'm here to take on the Monster Hot Dog Challenge. It's three foot, three foot long. That's about three foot, yeah? Quite thick. Chips, I don't know about the weight in the kilo. I don't think I've got a chance of this, but I'm gonna give it a go. I'm a big fan of beard meats food, and I've been looking at things as the challenges in Pattaya. Is there any other food challenges in Pattaya? Let us know, guys. But I know Vic from the Queen Vic has been doing this for a long time. It's 500 baht. If you win it, you've got 30 minutes. If you do it in 30 minutes, you get the meal for free. You get 500 baht back, and I'm pretty sure you get two nights in Koh Chang at an hotel. You've got to pay for yourself to get there, but you get two nights in Koh Chang. Used to be like that, but we'll go in and find out. Anyway, whatever I don't eat, Dan can eat. Let's go inside. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at the size of that. I'm here at the Queen Victoria here on Soy 6, and I'm here to take on their challenge, which is the Monster Hot Dog 
challenge. The cost is 500 bahts, only 500 bahts. If I do this, I've got 30 minutes to do this. If I do it, I get the meal for free, I get 500 bahts and I get a free night at the White Sands in Ko Chang. Okay, so on this, we've got the bread, which is specially made. So if you want to do this, you've got to give at least 24 hours notice because you have to have the bread specially made with the bakers. So they've got big hot dogs on here. You've got chili con carne, there's cheese. Looks like some kind of tomato relish on there. And of course, French fries. So this is packed. So without further ado, let's tuck in. As soon as I cut this, then the timer will start. Okay, there we go. No, it's okay, where do it start? Ooh. Mm. Mm. That's just good. It's a long way go. Mm. It's actually delicious. The sausage in there. Oh, quite surprised. I thought it was going to be a hot dog sausage, but it's not. We're about five minutes into it now, so I've done okay so far. What I'm surprised is the flavour of this, the sausage, and also it's got mince meat here. It's absolutely freaking delicious. So I'm getting towards halfway now. It's catching up now. I thought I'd do halfway. The bread's a killer to get down. We're now about nine minutes in, ten, eight minutes in. But it's the bread. Eyes bigger than the belly, as they say. I've done half of it in 15 minutes, so I'm halfway through the time. I'm done. I'm going to let Dan down the cameraman take over, see if he can finish the rest. Yeah, it yeah. tastes really good, and I think, I think wow. I, I give up, man. <coughs> bye bye. <laughs> Well, as you can see here, that was a, a failure. I actually got um, halfway in 15 minutes, but at that point I was full. I would not eaten for 24 hours because I wanted to do this, but that was, it was just too much for me. And I just thought, oh God, I can't do any more. So we quickly swapped and did it for Dan. But can any of you guys do this? Remember, it's free if you can do it. Plus you get paid 500 baht and you get one night at White Sands in uh, Ko Chang. Just a bit of fun on you guys. But one thing I will say about it, the flavour of it, it was delicious. I think that's why I ate it so quick. I think maybe I ate it too quick in the beginning. But what, what part is the killer is the bread. The bread just gets really, really tough on you. The meat, the filling is absolutely delicious. I, I totally enjoyed that. So guys, Queen Vic, can you do it? Do you think you can do it? Come and have a go, only 500 baht. If you can do it, let me know. Or if you're gonna come and challenge it, let me know and I'll come down and give you some support. Guys, thank you very much for watching this one. Thank you very much to the Queen Victoria for putting this on for us, for, to Vic. Yeah, I found it delicious. And by the way, they do many other foods in here as well. The Sunday roast, the superb, 395 baht, or you can eat buffet Sunday roast. Guys, thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one. Ugh.